Welcome to the No Pixel Dark Podcast. I am your host, Aaron Dante. I told you, you have nothing but the heavy hitters. And this is a special, special edition. You know I don't get out of bed early for anybody, for anybody. The next voice you hear, this guy is from Baltimore. Brother, from here. Went to high school here and went to the United States Navy. And he'll tell you his high school is, you know how Baltimore is. We're not going to... We'll let him do his shine on that. <laughs> so, uh, happy Fleet Week, and it's a Fleet Week special of No Picture Dark Podcast. We'll be right back. We made a pledge to do what's best for the health of our communities, and we continue to deliver on it every day for every one of our members. With access to a network of over 1 million providers, rewards for living healthy, and more care options than ever, we are Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield, and we are changing health care for all that we serve. At Care First, it's not just our name, it's our promise. Folks, Aaron Dante, I'm back. Flea Week 2024. I have a special guest, special guest. This guy is flying all over the country. He only, I only have 20 minutes with him. They told me I only have 20 minutes. And I said, I got to make it happen. He said, they're going to make it happen, make it happen. His team was like, Aaron, be here at 7.30 a.m. I'm like, 7.30? That's the Roosters not even crowing at 7.30 right now. Well, I'm going to make sure I get it right. Commanding General, Lieutenant General Brian W. Kavanaugh, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. I got to make sure. I always heard Del Conn, you speak things in your name. I want to make sure I got everything correctly. You got it. You get it right. All right, got to make sure. Yeah. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for your time. I always tell people you can't get time back, so we appreciate you taking time out of your day. It's a beautiful day in Baltimore. Welcome back to Fleet Week 2024. Every day in Baltimore is a beautiful day. Gotcha. We, and we missed connections in 2022. Your team was like, we got to got, got meet him, got to meet him, got, and we just missed connections. And I had a great time in 2024. Took the helicopter down and took the, uh, the boat up. It was amazing. Blew my mind. Tell people all every day, you'll never experience anything until you're on an experienced helicopter ride. Who can fly a helicopter? I said, if I ever fly a helicopter, it has to be something with the, with the Marines, Navy, or somebody like that. So, absolutely. But th thank you so much for your time. So, what does it mean to be back in Baltimore? I know you're a Baltimore native. Let's get a little background. Fully Week 2024, Baltimore native. Tell us, people, where you're from in Baltimore. So, I grew up, uh, we moved around a little bit, but I grew up in uh, Northwood, so uh, Northeast Baltimore, not too far from Morgan State. And uh, went to Baltimore Polytech, best high school in the city, as you know. <laughs> and then I uh, went out to Annapolis, went to the Naval Academy, and that's kind of put me on my path into the military. So what made you go to the Naval Academy? You know, what made you want to go there? Because it's always, you know, you're working for the country. You're now working for the country. You were hand-in-hand. -hand. What made you want to do that? Well, I would say I didn't really have plans to do that. If you were to ask me if I was going to go in the military as a senior in high school, I probably would have told you no. Uh, <laughs> but I had planned to go to Duke oh. and at a lacrosse and wrestling partial scholarship, not a full ride. Okay. A West Point recruiter came to our house and um, talked to my mom and really Naval Academy was closer. So that kind of put that spark in. And then once I joined, I just never looked back. So 39 years uh, next month. Wow. So you said, if you look at your, your younger self, you probably would be like, nah, that, that's not the route I would have taken most likely. It's not, and I think there's a lot of young men and women in the city that just don't have the awareness. I didn't have it about mm -hmm. the uh, good of service and the opportunities that uh, serving your country could uh, provide for yourself and your families. Um, I didn't have that perspective. Um, once I figured I wasn't going pro in any sport, I had to come up with another plan. I wanted to be an engineer, and um, again, like I said, I was going to go to Duke on that path, and everything changed for me. I became a Marine and a helicopter pilot, and, you know, it's been a blast. Now, you, you, how many tours have you done at any any wars? How many tours have you been in? In combat, just uh, one. Mm -hmm. I was a commander in combat in 2007 in Iraq. Yeah, I read about that. So, uh, but I've done numerous deployments mm -hmm. all over the world. And when you've traveled all over, what's one of your top three places you've visited that you're like, wow, I would recommend you to check this out? Okinawa, Japan is our favorite place. Okay. Uh, my wife and I, we have four children. Uh, they went to school there. Oh, my son's a teacher in uh, Northern Virginia now. He's fluent in Japanese. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. So uh, we all just loved our time there. We've lived there twice. Oh, wow. That's probably top of our list. Top of your list. Okay, okay. I, 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 how's the cuisine? How's the cuisine? Though? There's not, nothing like sushi in Japan. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that. So, you know, you've traveled all across the world. How often did you ever get back home to Baltimore? I try to come back as much as I 
possible. My mom still lives in the same house they bought back in 1970. Wow. Uh, you know, these brick row houses, they last forever. So um, we've been in Northwood since early, since 1970. So. And it's funny, my grandmother's house was in Northwood. And then when I moved back to Baltimore, I lived at the house for a little bit in Northwood. Then I moved further over north. Or the... I probably know what street. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can't, you know, people who watch it. But I'll tell you, we'll talk a whole lot. <laughs> we'll talk a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, I, I, it, she's been there for She was there forever. Yeah. And we used to go over there and go to just save a lot, get food, and have breakfast and eat breakfast at her house all the time. So beautiful neighborhood. <laughs> they, they've done some renovations out there, too. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Morgan's taking over the whole area. It looks very nice. Yep. And then even the Northwood Elementary is renovated. We, we did. So, yeah, you've been, you've been back. Oh, I've been back. You, you, you probably, I'm going to have you teach a show. <laughs> have you tell you. But so where were you when the key, when you heard the key bridge had collapsed? Like, and what was your feeling when you heard that? Well, so I'm currently stationed in Norfolk, Virginia, mm -hmm. and in my current billet, I um, oversee all the Marines on the East Coast, essentially. And when the key bridge came down, my military instinct kicked in, mm. and I thought of a uh, myriad different possibilities of what went on. Right. So I got notified fairly quickly of uh, the bridge coming down. Mm. And once we learned kind of what happened, uh, just the uh, horrible tragedy, but I found out probably within minutes of it coming down. And it just kind of struck me. Uh, of course, I reached out to my family to make sure everybody's okay. That time of day, you know, not a lot of traffic, uh, fortunately. Um, you know, hearts go out to those that uh, lost uh, some family members. But um, it's, I understand the port's open. Yeah, it's open. Everything's open. 11 weeks later. It's amazing. Uh, shows the tenacity of our people, American people. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of comes for me back to service. You know, uh, I've been around the world multiple times, and this is the greatest country on the planet. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of blessings and privileges that we can't take for granted. And the ingenuity of our people, mm -hmm. uh, as you saw, getting something done in 11 weeks that people said will take a year. Um, you see that on the battlefield. You see that all over. Uh, it's our people that is our most valuable asset and um yeah i try to come back like you mentioned earlier just to uh talk to uh next generation and try to encourage them to serve and you can serve in uniform you can serve as a civilian and support of your government local communities your church first responders there's a lot of ways to serve and i think there's no greater blessing than to be able to serve other people i love that i love it so we got so people may not know the three stars one the lapel tell, tell us a little bit about that tell us a little bit about that so uh, my rank is lieutenant general. So mm -hmm. the highest is four-star general. I'm a three-star general. So again, if you asked me in high school, if I was going to the military, I would have said no. Uh, but uh, it's been a great blessing, great opportunity to be able to serve. Um, as a child, like, you know, growing up, my dreams were really my wife. Mm -hmm. I was able to meet the uh, woman of my dreams. Mm -hmm. um, but the military wasn't a part of that. And she's been by my side for 30 years. Um, we have four beautiful children, and we've been just able to serve. And uh, as we come to a close on this service, mm -hmm. it's just truly blessed. I love that. I love that. So you're back in Baltimore. Have you had a chance to get the crabs? We got to ask the crabs, man. I will always get seafood every trip. <laughs> uh, I've had some crab, a little bit of crab yesterday. Uh, my sister's down on the eastern shore, so, okay. you know, we'll get the oysters, we do it all, and I keep uh, I keep Old Bay with me. I had it in Japan, everywhere I go, I got a, I got some Old Bay with me. I love it. So I always ask people these questions. I'll be prepared to have come to the show. Crabs or crab cakes? Crab cakes. Why is that? Uh, I make my own. Okay. See, I like see I like the sport of crabs because we can put our cell phones down and we and we can talk. And you got the crab, you know, crab cakes are nice, but I like to have that conversation. Well, part of it. I, I do love a bushel of crabs. We kind of grew up on it, but. Just being away for 40 years, it's just, you know, I get, I've been disappointed in <laughs> in other countries and other places because it's just not Maryland crab. No. So I have to revert to the crab cake because I can make that myself and it would be right. Now I'm going to bring you back. I want to bring you back snow bowls or ice cream? You, you know. Okay. All right. And, that, and custard marshmallow, are you going to do that still or not? Are you, uh, no. what, was, <laughs> what was the snowball flavor? What was your flavor back in the day? Oof, that was so long ago. I think we do like a mix. Yeah, you get yeah. a mix. Yeah, see? It's a stuff Baltimore. You got to have that. 
Um, do you ever get ice potato chips when you come back, or any burger cookies, anything like that? Or I get I'll get the old bay chips. Oh yeah, because they, they're hard to find. Right. Again, not being uh, uh, local. Anytime I see like old bay, I've seen different popcorn, everything now has some right. type of old but. Old Bay saw some uh, Old Bay Cheetos or something. Oh, I don't even. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll try them. <laughs> um, what are you looking forward to the most from this whole week? Uh, just being here for Fleet Beach 2004 back home. What are you looking forward to? Well, I'm hopeful that uh, all the local citizens come down to the ships and meet the Marines and sailors and Coast Guardsmen that are here. And oftentimes we'll hear uh, uniform and say, oh, thank you for your service. My response is thank you for your support. But I'm hopeful that the next question that they ask is, where are you from? Because mm. over 90% of the people that are here for the Fleet Week aren't from here, right? So uh, just that engagement, uh, what well, the citizens mean to them are the moms, the uncles, the cousins, the brothers that they miss. So your engagement is, um, you know, mostly important because uh, they're, they're a long way from home. Um, but... What they, what you should see in this is the best of our country. Mm. You know, they're ambassadors. They go overseas. Uh, some of them just came back from operations out in the Red Sea area. So there's a lot going on in the world. And mm. these young people, they raise their right hand to defend our values, our nation. And I think there's nothing more important that, than to be able to engage with them and recognize them. So that's what I'm hopeful for. Hey, you said it right there. You dropped the mic. Yeah, I don't. I don't say anything more. I mean, you really wrapped it up in beautiful bow. I appreciate you taking time out your day to hang out and just chat because I know you're a busy schedule, but I'm honored and I'm happy we can make it happen two years later. I always tell people, it may be at the right time, but now it's the right time. You never know what time that is going to be. So last two years may not have been the right time, but now is the right time. So I appreciate hanging out with a hometown hero. It's why we salute. We want to celebrate. And I know retirement's coming very soon. So when we were stage information, when you come back, Let's sit down and go to a crab cake spot in Northeast. And we talked earlier. Oh, I come back. We we gonna get down crabs. Crab. We go get crabs. <laughs> we gonna sit down, and relax seriously, because we really salute you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for being a, a, a just a role model for people, for young guys and women from for Baltimore to see what you're doing. People are doing out there, what they can achieve. Highest African American, second highest African American in Marines. Correct? Is that right? For your yes. three stars. Yeah. Do a little homework. Do a little homework. After yeah, that. you did. Lord, but I appreciate you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been an honor to be here with you. Folks, love, peace. We're out.